Buccaneers, this is our guide to London with kids and we are going to show you the fun things you can do here. Today we'll be using the London Pass which grants us access to over 80 top attractions in the city. Our first stop is the Tower of London. This is an iconic medieval castle with centuries of history. First we're stopping by the Welcome Center to pick up some activity books. Come on brother, let's go explore the tower. This is our first time visiting a castle. We're walking through the part of the tower built by Edward I and his father, Henry III. This is the chamber of King Edward. We're climbing up to another tower. How come kings like sitting on thrones? They look uncomfortable. If I were a king, I would choose to sit on like a sofa or something. You can get a view of Tower Bridge from here. In this section, you can see many artifacts from the nobles, such as this portable altarpiece. Next, we're entering the Broad Arrow Tower, which was used for defense. We're looking at some crossbows. Did you know there was a zoo at the castle? Exotic animals were exchanged among powerful rulers to impress each other. Brother and I are playing with some interactive displays. It's sticking to my button. It's time to check out the crown jewels. This is where crowns, robes, and other ceremonial objects are kept. Unfortunately, photography's not allowed in here. Lastly, we're watching a British guard. Brother, don't try to make him laugh. We had so much fun at the Tower of London. We're going on the London Bridge. Correction, this is actually Tower Bridge. Constructed over 125 years ago, this bridge was built with giant movable roadways that lift up for passing ships. We're taking the underground to our next destination. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Our next stop is Tate Modern. This museum features international modern and contemporary art. And the best part is that it's free. This boy's doing sign language. This display shows quotes from famous artists. That looks like a cow. Ooh. Hey, how did we get on the ceiling? We're going to draw on this carpet wall. Bye bye! Lastly, we're going to the viewing level for a great sight of the city. We had a great time at Tate Modern. We're taking the metro to the next attraction. Let's go to the upper level. This is the first time we're riding a double-decker bus. Wait, have we rode one before? Yeah, we have. In the zoo. We're going under a bridge. Our next stop is Borough Market and we're going to look for something to eat. This is London's most renowned food and drink market featuring British and international produce. You can get many free samples here. Thank you. We're going to buy some cheese bread to munch on. Now I'm going to eat a bacon cheeseburger. 
Next, we're having paella, watermelon juice, donut, and candied fruit. We had a yummy time at Borough Market. Our next stop is London Transport Museum. This museum explores the story of London and its transport system over the last 200 years. We learned that the word bus comes from omnibus, which means for all in Latin. And we got to go inside one. We're playing with some hands-on exhibits. London's first horse tram was in 1870. Guess when New York's first horse tram was? Ta-da! This model shows the construction of the underground. We're also collecting stamps at stations around the museum. This train needs some fixing. Now I can drive the train. Next, we're playing in the kitty area. We're climbing aboard this double-decker. Now we're looking at an exhibit on the underground. We're in an old-fashioned subway car. Lastly, we're playing with a train simulator. I'm pushing down on the brake to stop the train. Brother, release the door for the passengers. Oh no, the train got detached from the power source. I need to fix it before we can continue. We had so much fun at the London Transport Museum. Stay tuned for part three.